I'm running for a seat on the Osage Minerals Council because I believe it's time for a significant change. We are gonna have to change the way we're doing business. We can no longer take what's doled out to us. We have to be more proactive in how we approach our business. Uh, I think it's time to have professional people on board. Um, I think that for the last decade, we've um, seen a spiral, a downward spiral in our gas and oil production and our sales. It seems to me that we've just been taking what's doled out to us instead of being proactive and going after the top dollar. We have the most valuable asset sitting out here. Um, and this council has the duty to act on behalf of all shareholders and get the highest dollar we can get. And that's why I'm running for the Minerals Council. My education is, um, well, let me first say that I was born and raised in Hominy. I graduated from Hominy High School in 1986. I went to, the, uh, to Northeastern State University in Tahlequah, where I graduated with bachelor's degree uh, in 1991. I then went to the University of Tulsa, and graduated with a uh, Juris Doctor in 1999. I've been practicing law for uh, two decades. I've been a lawyer, a consultant, and a judge. I currently sit as a judge for um, the Kickapoo Supreme Court, and I sit as a federal magistrate for uh, two Court of Indian Offenses. And uh, prior to my uh, law school experience, I also worked for the Cherokee Nation. I worked under Wilma Mankiller when the Cherokees first compacted their 638 funds, which was a big deal. No, no, none of the tribes had done that. So I've been dealing with sovereignty all of my professional career. And I would tell you right now that I probably know as much about sovereignty as anybody who's ever served on this council. And I think that's going to be a real asset to the Minerals Council and the business that we have before us. I would like to add that I think that we need to do a full assessment of where we are and how we got here. I think we also need to um, create a strategic plan that works for the future, that works for future generations. I am a fourth generation shareholder and I can tell you that if we don't make a substantial change now, we're not gonna have to worry about the sixth and seventh and eighth generations because we're just gonna dwindle to nothing. We have, the, like I said, the most valuable asset that tribes can have. We have our own, we have billions of dollars out there in the ground and we need to take care of that. We need to create a plan that works. We need to develop the minerals estate in a way that it will see us well into the future. I believe that when our ancestors said everything they did was for the future generations, that we should live that way now. We should do what is required for protecting everything we have, our culture, our minerals estate, our, our government. We need to do everything to prepare for the future, to, to make sure that our future generations are well taken care of. And I hope that you'll consider voting for me for Minerals Council.